Hey, welcome back. I'm Nate. Today we're here at Drive Shack for the Cars and Clubs car meetup. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at how I mounted the LEDs underneath the vehicle. And we're also gonna be taking a look at the web interface, how uh, people can connect through Wi-Fi to the Tesla LED uh, wireless network and then be able to connect and be able to control the LEDs, change the colors. Uh, so without any further ado, let's uh, take a look at that. Here's a closer look at where we start off on the LEDs. To get this panel down, this uh, fiberglass panel, we're gonna remove four 10 millimeter bolts along the front here. And then one more in the center, which is about dead center in the screen right there. And once we drop that down, we can clearly see where we need to drill to be able to mount the zip ties to hold the LED strips into place. When we move around to the side here, To underneath where the battery pack is at. So we can see the zip tie is there. So that whole panel got drilled and zip tie mounted. But then once we get to here where the battery pack is at, I use the uh, double stick tape that's on the back of the LEDs. Okay, you focused here. There we go. I used the double stick tape on the back of the LEDs and then put clear Gorilla tape uh, to hold that in place to give it a little extra security. So far it looks like it's holding up well. So that runs all the way down. Let's take a look back here on the back bumper. So same kind of similar setup. Again, on the back, there's a kind of fiberglass um, liner. And then from there, we go to the plastic. Again, I really had no other choice on mounting here other than if I wanted to drill holes and I didn't feel like drilling holes into the plastic here. So I used some more Gorilla Tape and uh, that's what holds them in place. And then this location right here, Get some better light on it is where the strips come back and that's where it heads back up to the front of the vehicle all right so once we leave the back of the vehicle uh the wires are joined up and they come up here to the rocker panel uh, there's a couple bolts running along running along the bottom here and some of it's just panel pops and i was able to um, pull that off and be able to route the wire all the way up to the front all right, once we get up to the front here, comes down and joins in with the rest of the bundle. In order to get to the front grill, there is a gasket. Let's see if I can get it in the frame here. Yeah, that gasket right there, I was able to kind of go in between it. Let's see if there's not really a location that you can see where the wire comes through at. And that's how I got to the front bumper down here. And again, this comes in from the center and then is double stick taped along the top there. And I knew that double stick tape just wasn't gonna hold up. So I ended up putting some more Gorilla Tape strips along there to hold it into place. And then once we get over to here, routes back up to the front. into the mess of wiring there. And then we come out and go to the fog light. You can see the strip up there. And then we come around to the side vent. And again, the side vent it's another one of those where it was kind of gorilla taped into place for extra security. Uh, you can get to that by removing these few panel pops and then opening up the uh, inner wheel well here and you can get in and um, get to the fog light and everything from there. All right, buried up underneath here is the wireless router that I'm using. It's the TP-Link. Um, I don't have the exact model number. It'll be in the description below. But that goes through a 
USB cigarette lighter that I kind of stripped apart and that's wired into the switch underneath the dash. Uh, so once I turn the system on, this comes on immediately, starts booting up. With about 15 seconds, it's already up and functioning and uh, you can connect to it through your phone from there. Um, with this, I, I couldn't get the uh, soft AP on the ESP to work correctly. I kept on failing and crashing. Uh, so this is my solution around it was to just bring a wireless router with me uh, for 20 25 bucks on amazon um, it, it kind of fixed all my issues that i had and um, makes it a lot easier to connect to uh, from there i'm running a dns server on the esp uh, to do uh, captive portals so as soon as you connect to the wireless network it will automatically route you to the correct web page and bring you up the web interface um, let's go take a look at, at that right now. All right, so all we got to do is turn on our Wi-Fi. And then we'll see Tesla LED show up. We'll automatically connect to that. Once we're connected, we'll open up a web browser. On iPhones, it automatically pulls up the web page. On Android, it seems that I have to go and manually do it. Then what we can do is open up a new tab and go to teslaled.com and from there we can see, let's turn the brightness just a little bit, there we go. We can see we have a list of all the different effects that we can do to the vehicle. All I gotta do is simply click on one and it will change the pattern. We can even go and change the color. So say we want green, we want blue, maybe some red, some pink, yellow. We can do it all from there. We're wrapping up uh, Cars and Clubs here at Drive Shack in uh, Orlando. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and um, I'll continue making content. See you guys later.